Oh, it was uh, Gary Smith and Dwight Hamian. I believe one of those guys just died. I just saw it in the news the other day. I think it was Gary Smith. Uh, or maybe it was Dwight. Yeah, Dwight was the older gentleman. Uh, there were two American producers, and it was very, very nice. You know, we went out to, I believe it was Elstree, for quite a period of time, and we did a lot of live recording, which was great, because we'd just done this stuff in the studio. We'd been working it up to, to, to do it live on tour. I don't remember if that was before or after the European tour, but that was a lot of fun. I mean, we got to do Live and Let Die with the orchestra, and those poor guys, I'll never forget that. The quick story, though. Uh, the, the piano was made out of balsa wood, and it was planned to blow up at the end of the song. And we're all standing, and my drums are around, you know, the piano, and Paul sat way back at it, although it looked like he was sitting there playing, but he knew it was going to be a pretty big explosion. And these guys behind us, the violins, you know, all these bold, guy, uh, bold, bold guys with their Stradivariuses, they had no idea that this thing was going to make this big explosion. They might have been told there was going to be a little explosion, but this thing went off at the end of the song, and the piano lid was made out of balsa wood. It was a ball of flames that just went over their heads in slow motion, man. These guys were holding on to their wigs and their fiddles. It was, it was pretty serious. <laughs>